Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brie, and today we're going to be doing an exciting video. As you guys see by the title, we're going to be reviewing a brand new foundation again. There are so many new foundations coming out right now, literally a new one's coming out left and right, and I'm not complaining. I'm here for it. So we're going to go ahead and put to the test the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I am wearing a shirt. It is off the shoulder, so if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the fam if you would like to. It would mean so much to me, and I love all you guys so, so much, so be sure to do that, and if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I will leave that somewhere on the screen for you guys like I always do, so be sure to follow me there. I'm also going to be reviewing the powder as well, and your girl did pick up the brush. So I do have all three products right here we're going to go ahead and dive into, test it out, see what it's about. I'm so excited that there are so many new foundations coming out, like I feel like every brand right now is launching a new foundation. It's all happening at the same time and I feel like they're all almost a dewy finish aside from the urban one that I just did but you guys like new foundations every other week. Okay I'm here for it and I do love a dewy luminous skin so I'm very very hyped about this. I love doing complexion and focusing on that so really really love foundation. That's like my favorite Part. This is what the bottle looks like. Super sleek. I love it. I love that it says foundation in big blocky chunky letters right there. So I did go with the shade 300C. Now their shade range is very large. We have 50 shades to choose from, which again, very awesome that a brand is coming out with more shades to choose from. I feel like 50 shades now is like standard, which it should be. And that's just my personal opinion, but I feel like 50 shades to choose from is amazing. It is a nice color range of options to choose from. So it does say on here that this foundation is vegan, gluten-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, and non-comedogenic. It is suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, and no flashback. And the coverage on here is supposed to be a medium to full coverage. It's a luminous natural finish, and yeah, we're gonna see about that. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just apply this to the spots where I would get a little oily throughout the day. I have normal to combo skin. The only spot I ever get oily in is really my T-zone or like right in the middle right here. And I'll, everything else is pretty much just normal. Um, so yeah, that's the only type of place I get to shine. So I did go ahead and purchase the Kabuki brush as well that they came out with. This is what the brush looks like. Pretty cute, but I also think it looks very tiny for foundation, I'm not going to lie. So that's my first impression right off the bat is like, I usually apply my foundations with a bigger brush or a sponge, so I'm a little thrown off by the size. Did go ahead and try to color match myself in Ulta, but we know how that goes. I don't know if it oxidizes. Hoping that this is a perfect shade or, you know, a shade I can work with. I just give it a quick little shake. I did already do my lashes. So after I do this, I will do the remaining of my makeup and then come back like always, but packaging also reminds me of the NARS Natural Radiance as well as like the Maybelline one. I think because it's a glass packaging. Really cute though, I love it. So I'm just gonna apply it here first. Oh, and I will be using the brush for the whole face, hopefully. And then I'll go in with the sponge as well, but I'm not gonna do like separate sides or anything today, just because I wanna see how this brush actually works since it's part of the line and part of what she launched. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like dot this everywhere. So using kabuki brushes and brushes like this kind of throw me off when I do my foundation because I think it's like too small. <laughs> I, I'm more of a person that likes to use a brush that's more of like a flat top brush, not really a kabuki, if that makes sense. Like I just feel like if I'm going to use a kabuki brush, I would like it to be a little bit bigger. Color wise, not too bad. Definitely matching me. I am going to bring it down to my neck, of course, and blend it down. Really pretty luminosity right away though. Don't like the way it's applying to my nose with this brush. It doesn't look like it's like a seamless finish. But I'm not bashing the brush at all. Like obviously, I haven't even finished the face yet. I'm just explaining to you guys like initial thoughts that are running through my head. Like even when I first saw it, I was like that's kind of tiny for a foundation. But I wanted to try it out anyway because who knows? Looks can be deceiving, you never know. So. I mean, that's really, really, really pretty. It's a nice amount of coverage. It is the medium coverage amount. For me personally, I like to use a different type of brush or sponge to kind of pat in this area and build it up here. So I may have to go build it up with my sponge, to be completely honest with you. That's just how I'm used to wearing it. 
Um, I'm gonna continue doing the rest of the face. So far, so good. This is a really good brush if you wanted to do a light amount of coverage. You see how I'm just kind of buffing it into the skin? It's giving a pretty airbrush look with this brush and still looking good. So that's amazing. Like this brush is good for that purpose, but for doing a full face, medium to full coverage, I don't see this happening for me. Maybe I'll use it for like concealer or something, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this like for a full face. Do you feel like I have to go in with more pumps with it? Um, so that's something. So biggest key to this is doing these padding motions when using this type of brush. And then it pretty much gives you like that flawless finish as well. So that's just something to note. I'm gonna take my sponge right now and just kind of pounce over it just to kind of seamlessly finish it just because I am not 100% set on the brush just yet. Um, maybe it's one of those things I have to use several times to like get the hang of it. More into my cheek area. It is buildable. You say it's going to be a buildable formula with medium to full coverage, so I do agree with that so far. Honestly, don't think it looks bad. Like, I like the way that it's looking. Um, also, to note, I'm never really a cool undertone. I'm more of like a neutral undertone, but when I was in the store looking at the shades, I definitely thought that the neutral undertones picked up a little bit more orangey-like, and the cool undertone picked up more neutral-like. So. That could have been in my head, but when I was just swatching a few of the shades that I thought could have been mine, they definitely pulled a little bit darker and like different tones than what they were saying they were. So, uh, yeah, not sure about that, but uh, this one seems to be working good for me, so I'm glad that I actually swatched it. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply quick concealer on my under eyes and I'll be right back to share with you guys the new powder. All right, so now that I went in with the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the new powder. This one is the loose powder in the color vanilla. Now they do have several options to choose from. I believe they had translucent, vanilla, and then I believe four other shades after that. I was gonna go with the translucent one, but then I was like, no, we're gonna go with vanilla because I'm really trying to see what this is all about. This is what the powder is looking like in the cap. Pretty standard vanilla -y color, which is nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush for this, which is by Wonder Beauty, because I don't want to apply it with a damp sponge because sometimes when you use it wet or just a sponge that's been used for foundation, it will make it kind of appear a little bit darker. So I want to keep it to its true powder color to just get a little bit on here. So I'm still going to go ahead and apply how I always do my powder. I never really bake, so I'm not gonna do that for today's video either. So this formula actually is like, you don't have to set it which I always set my foundation, so I'm not going to do that, but I can already let you know that it is kind of drying down a little bit, which A, worries me, because when I go in with the powder now, I don't want it to look too dry and then defeat the whole entire purpose of this luminous foundation, you know what I mean? Pat it under. Instantly mattifies that section, which is nice. My chin. I'm just going to sweep a little bit under here. I honestly think it looks like a filter. Okay. I was getting a little bit nervous, not going to lie, um, because I didn't want it to actually look like cakey in the end or not dewy at all. Like the foundation still has a little bit of a luminosity to it, but it's definitely not a wet look anymore because of the powder. So that's just like obvious. Looks like a pretty airbrushed effect and looks pretty. I'm just really obsessed with my other powders, so it's kind of hard for me to try out new ones, I guess, because I'm so addicted to those ones. So it's not doing anything terrible. Okay, we have to wait the rest of the video to know the full, full extent of this powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup, quickly just do some bronzer and all that, and then I'll come back to share with you guys my thoughts on it, how it's working. And my skin is looking pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the makeup, and I'll be right back. So I'm back now with full makeup and I want to just let you guys know that I'm so far loving this foundation. So when I first left off, I was a little iffy. So I think the longer I have it on, it's looking a lot better. It was making me a little nervous in the beginning. Like, 
am I gonna like this? Because I really have high hopes for it. The only thing that I did not love was their other foundation, which was a stick foundation. Very, very drying and was not complimenting on my skin. I will still use those products though for cream contouring, which you've seen in multiple of my videos if you've watched. So I still do use those little cold sore right here. So if it looks weird, I'm sorry. Um, but right now my skin looks really good, really healthy, very nicely luminous, which is definitely something that I go for. I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day, rock it for the rest of the day. So I do have the typical crease in my smile line. That just always happens for me. So it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's not that crazy. It's just a little bit, so I can still work with it. And overall, like the rest of my skin still looks really dewy, even the spots that we did set down. So moving into the powder now, a little update on that. It does look fine to me. Like it actually looks better than when I first applied it. So I feel like the longer the products are sitting on my skin, it's looking even better, if that makes sense. So the powder kind of just sunk into my skin I guess like when I first put it on I was getting nervous that it was looking really dry even though it looks really airbrushed and like a filter on my skin it also is making me a concern that it was gonna get a little dry under there but as it's wearing honestly that worry went away <laughs> um it kind of just looks beautiful and I'm just going to keep on with my day and I'll be back in a little bit so I absolutely loved the foundation. It did not do anything negative to my skin. It definitely meets up to its claims, which is an A+. So I also did a little flashback test as well. So I took a flash photo and on the claims it does say that it will not have a flashback and the result is true. It meets up to the claims. So that's amazing. Did not have a flashback. And overall, just really love the way that it looks on my skin. As it's wearing, it definitely is getting more luminous throughout the day as well, which of course could be like my natural oils peeking through. Now for the powder, I will still continue to use it and I'm going to test it out with another foundation to see how that works. For me personally, I feel like it does look good under my eyes. Like it's not bad. It just, I feel like there's a little bit of creasing and a tiny bit of dry under there, but it's nothing terrible. Like I can still make it work. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look super dry or anything like that. So just, I always get creasing under there. So that's something to also remember that my creasing is always going to happen. So it's not something I'm looking at for creasing. It's more of dryness, but it's nothing unbearable. And would I say you have to have it? No. Would I say the foundation does it have to have? Yes, definitely try that. If you have my skin type, you're absolutely going to love it. And if you love dewy foundations, you're going to love it. But the powder, I would say that it's nice to try out, but you don't 100% need it. But I will keep you posted down below when I use it with another foundation. As well as the brush, I totally don't think it's a must, but it is a nice product to try out. And it was super soft and did apply it really nicely. I do like their brushes. I love the eyebrow brush that they have so definitely something that I knew I wanted to try out so I am glad that I picked up all three of these items this is what we're looking like I really do like it didn't really break up much a little bit around my mouth but we like it I have all the info down below so I hope you guys did enjoy this video maybe found it a little bit helpful I hope I covered everything in this video sorry if it was all over the place I'm just really liking the foundation right now like it looks really good on my skin so I'm excited about it and I will catch you guys in my next video bye